reacting to news that Toys R Us is filing for bankruptcy and just closing its doors across the country. Is it a sign of other major retailers that they could shut their doors as well? We're going to talk about that with how that fits into the bigger world of business. Jennifer Nolfi of the Center for Retail Leadership at the PSU School of Business joins us. Welcome, Hi. Jennifer. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. So, you know, we see Toys R Us and also Babies R Us, that corporation going under, and a lot of people think they want to instantly blame Amazon and the Internet. So right. what is your thought on that whole trend? Well, the Amazon, what we call effect, is definitely playing a role in that. I think retailers really need to think innovatively about mm -hmm. what they can do to attract and retain their customers. And with Toys R Us, big box retailer, they just weren't going to their consumers mm -hmm. or customers and then making a compelling reason for them to come to them and go out of their way to go to Toys R Us. So I think it's a wake up call, but it's also a huge opportunity to think innovatively about retail and how we serve our customers. Sure. Do you think this is just the beginning? Do you think we're gonna see a lot more instances of this? I think there's going to be ongoing disruption in the retail mm -hmm. environment and that's a huge opportunity for industry to think about what they can do to provide a seamless platform for their customers to engage with them on their phone, on their tablets, in the store. So, And we see it as a huge opportunity for PSU and the center. Um, we are preparing students to think innovatively about retail, not only mm -hmm. tomorrow, but 5, 10, and 15 years down the road. So we are really excited about it. I mean, Claire is another big corporation yeah. that also to, to go out. Um, I mean, My eight-year-old devastated because sure. that is her oh, favorite yes. place. I've just got to <laughs> think, though, Jennifer, a lot of people, I like to go into the store and feel the products and Absolutely. try clothes on. So do you really see there ever being an end, at least to the big box stores, fully going out, or will there always be a need for that? I think there's always going to be a need for retail just for the reason that you mentioned. People want to have that authentic engagement, so more likely they're going to that physical location to really touch, feel, and mm -hmm. find something that means to them. For their basic staples, having it delivered to your home, one click, makes sense, but for those more special items where you really want to have that opportunity to learn more about a product, touch or feel it, those uh, brick and mortar opportunities are still going to exist. And really quickly, what's the key to success? Not just a website anymore. No, it's what we call omni-channel, it's pr so it's providing a seamless experience across your phone, desktop, you know, tablet, brick and mortar. It's really about customer service and integrating all the ways that the customer, inter customer interacts with a brand, making right. it seamless and efficient. What company's doing well with that? Well, I think of Disney. I mean, on the Toys R Us theme, right? Mm -hmm. Disney has an amazing travel experience where you can go online, plan your trip. Have you guys ever done that? I'm sure you, with your daughter. Yes, to Disneyland. <laughs> oh my goodness, we, yes. We yeah. did Disney World last year, and you can go and put in your restaurant preferences, connect with family and friends, yeah, and you have experience. a customized thing, and then you go there, and they it's amazing customer service throughout. Even well, what princesses are going to be where, right, right. what autographs <laughs> you want to get. Follow it. Absolutely. Yeah, well, Jennifer, thank you. I know it's an interesting time for your line of Absolutely. work, too, to be following this. So the School of Business at PSU, thanks yes. for being here. Thank you.